Hello, and thank you. My name's Drew Porosky, and I'm Vice President of Engineering at MemSQL. Today, I'd like to talk with you about how MemSQL sees the future of the data landscape changing over the next few decades. There's a quote from Albert Einstein that I love. The definition of genius is taking the complex and making it simple. This quote is particularly applicable to technology and how people interact with it and are empowered by it. I'd like to start with an example that's familiar to almost everyone's day-to-day -day experience, smartphones, where once we, had, we needed separate devices for different functions, a calculator, a camera, an alarm clock, and so on, we now have all of that technology combined in a single device. Cell phones, smartphones are an excellent example of technology convergence. For most use cases, people want their experience with technology to be as simple and streamlined as possible. And we see examples of convergence across different areas of technology, ranging from cars to smart TVs to hyper-converged infrastructure. And as other areas of technology have evolved to deliver a simpler and more streamlined experience, the data technology space must evolve as well. You've probably read statistics about how much data is being created every day, every hour. It's a lot. And it's coming from all kinds of sources, ranging from phones to watches to shoes, to things you might not expect, like basketballs and water bottles. According to an Accenture study, 79% of enterprise executives agree that companies that do not embrace big data will lose their competitive position and could face extinction. Driving insights from your data is a competitive advantage that can no longer be ignored. But many companies are finding it difficult to make the most of their data because traditional data technology wasn't built with such huge scale in mind. The current data technology landscape is a jungle. It's a huge universe of different components and systems, ranging from legacy offerings to caches to NoSQL solutions to all the tools needed to manage and monitor everything. You've probably seen complex data architecture slides like these. Maybe you're dealing with a similarly complex data infrastructure at your company today. The demands on data infrastructure uh, continue to increase over time. Demands ranging from dealing with larger data sets to delivering faster time to insight to handling more concurrency and uh, being able to handle a wider range of different transactional and analytical workloads. Many companies have addressed this problem by adding new specialized components to their data infrastructure. The problem with that approach is that each new component you add to your system makes it harder to manage, more expensive, and requires experts. And this complexity only gets worse as the demands on your data infrastructure continue to increase. There's a better way. We all know that traditional data technology started with uh, SQL-based databases that were excelled at handling a wide range of workloads that fit on a single machine. When that stopped working, the NoSQL wave brought us a multitude of specialized components to tackle the rising demands on data infrastructure. But with it came complexity. And this complexity led to new problems for data infrastructure teams to deal with, ranging from data siloing to more data movement leading to slower time to insight, to needing more staff to manage and keep everything, just the core fun functionality up and running. MemSQL sees the next step in the evolution of data technology as convergence. The answer is a database that does more. Analysts have different terms uh, for this. I prefer the term new SQL, as it represents a return to the power and the familiarity of SQL, uh, while still solving the challenges that NoSQL originally set out to address. The ideal modern database is SQL-based, it's distributed and horizontally scalable, memory-optimized, it's durable, and runs anywhere. 
In other words, it's a database without limits. By delivering more value with your database, you can simplify your data infrastructure and transform your business. Now I'd like to invite Atif Dean on stage to talk about how Fanatics did just that. Thanks, Drew. Good morning, everyone. My name is Atif Dean. Uh, I'm a principal engineer at Fanatics and the Data Science and Engineering Org. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of our technology architecture and how we solve some complex data integration and analytics problems using MemSQL. So Fanatics is a global leader in the licensed sports merchandise industry. We operate over 200 offline and online partner stores, including all e-commerce business for major sports leagues in the US, major media brands, and over 200 collegiate and professional team sites. Sports is a very fast and ever-changing landscape. About three years ago, we decided to completely revamp our technology architecture so that we could better serve our very passionate fans with their ever-growing real-time expectations. So we moved from siloed and monolithic applications to a completely event-driven architecture. At the core of this architecture is a Kafka-based event messaging platform that we call FanFlow. So all front-end and back-end applications log critical business and application events using tightly governed schemas directly into FanFlow. These events include the user behavior interactions on the site, type ahead results, search recommendations, product recommendations, all the state changes within an order life cycle, such as additions to cart, checkout, through fulfillment and delivery, and so forth. This allows our different business units and teams to communicate with each other more effectively and provide a more robust um, experience to our users, provide more innovative and readily available products across all our retail channels. It also allows us to ingest these events in real time and derive insights from them, which allows us to build intelligent feedback loops back to the servicing applications. So our first attempt at processing and sort of distributing this data and serving it out to users was to adopt a, uh, a couple of different open source technologies and cloud-based storage. So we used Flink and Redis for state management for our real-time computation of business KPIs and time series metrics. We wrote a lot of Spark applications for deeper analytics, such as customer, subscriber, order attribution, actor behavior models, and such. We used Elasticsearch, uh, multiple clusters for Elasticsearch for our primary persistence layer and query engine, and used Kibana for data discovery and limited dashboarding. So we had a bit of a split between our audiences where our executives and managers would use Kibana for query purposes and sort of data discovery, but our data scientists and our data engineers would use Hive and Zeppelin um, to do deeper analysis of these events. Um, there were a couple of challenges with this approach. One, we had very complex workflows that were difficult to manage. On the Elasticsearch side, you know, high throughput during peak traffic events was also difficult to manage. We have constantly evolving schemas as our business needs evolve, as our customers evolve. And changing schemas was also very difficult to manage in Elasticsearch indexes. Um, so we had a bit of a split brain. We had separate query platforms for different audiences. We found that a lot of our time was going into just maintenance of these applications, keeping them up and running, meeting our SLAs, and such. So we decided to adopt MemSQL. The adoption of MemSQL led to a much simpler technology stack for us and fewer technologies in the mix. So MemSQL serves as our primary persistence and query engine, so it replaces Elasticsearch and Kibana. We converted all our Spark and Flink jobs to SQL-based processing. 
which allowed us to have much quicker development life cycles and more predictive service level agreements. Previously, with Elasticsearch and, and Flink and Spark, uh, Flink at least, we, we had very difficult time doing data integration across ent other enterprise sources. We actually didn't have that capability. With MemSQL in the mix, we actually gained that capability. We ingest all our other enterprise sources into MemSQL as well. And we're able to do complex data integrations to provide a very comprehensive view of the current state of our business. In addition to all of this, what we found out is we were able to move the, our entire target audience, which is executives, managers, data scientists, data engineers, to a sing single SQL-based platform, which has lower barrier to entry, and everyone knows SQL. And so we saved a significant amount of time in setting up different kinds of platforms for different purposes, uh, you know, even though they're all trying to serve you know, analytics into, in our organization. We spent a lot more time now deriving deeper insights and developing new capabilities, such as self-service analytics platforms, dashboarding, and so forth. We also were able to power a lot more analytics use cases, such as order visibility, which power several customer service applications within our organization now. So in a nutshell, um, we spend a lot more time and resources now on providing intelligence from the data, deeper insights, rather than keeping our platforms up and running. Uh, quick note, Fanatics is always hiring technologists across the board. You can find us on fanaticsync.com or reach out to us on LinkedIn. Thank you very much. And I'm going to turn it back over to Drew now. Thanks, Satif. Fanatics is a great example of how you can simplify your data infrastructure. You just need a better database. You can come stop by our booth, number 915, to talk with me or another member of the team about how you can simplify your data infrastructure. Thank you.